Hello everyone, it's Rad from Rad Kutsarot and within this uh, old video um, you're gonna hear the forecast for your star sign for the upcoming week which is a August 24th to a August 30th, a 2020. For those who are new to Tarot, uh, Tarot is all about knowledge. It's about the knowledge of the universe and how you interpret that knowledge. So if you do like the way I read the Tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, I am offering you a Tarot classes and uh, how to participate into them, you can find a link down below in the description of this video just so you know by purchasing a tarot class it also includes a, a certain amount of personal coaching with me as well when you do finish uh, the, the, the recorded class okay, and you do have the hang of it already you can address me with whatever questions you think I have not covered up there or simply you can use that time to uh, practice your reading skills, uh, reading skills with me uh, the other thing is, is that if you do want a personal reading, you can go to my website, which link you are going to find in the description down below as well. And there at the very front page, you're going to see full list of my services as well, their pricing. And as soon as you place a, a purchase, <clears throat> I'm going to come back to you within 24 hours via email to give you details how the reading is going to take place. So if you haven't received the email in your inbox, make sure you do check your spam or junk folder as well. So with that being said, just lay back and uh, enjoy the show. So uh, this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Moon and uh, as well rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading for the upcoming week and uh, just bear with me a second guys to shuffle the cards and we can get right, right into it. All right, that should suffice. Um, okay, so the first one uh, that we do have for you Sagittarius that is to be the Ten of Swords. Uh, moving next we do have the Four of Swords here, uh, followed by the Nine of Pentacles uh, and literally this one saves the day here for you, okay? Uh, and the last one uh, that is to be the Seven of Cups. So all that there is to those uh, Ten of Swords um, it does refer to the moment of action or the momentum that you should undertake throughout the week as the week itself is going to hold a, an event that will require from you very decisive actions and very decisive decision making as well. Uh, the thing that we do have the Four of Swords into the second position next to the Ten of Swords, it does point that any inactivity or any even moment of hesitation of your behalf and under a moment of hesitation also is to be considered where you will probably going to need a, or rather like you may feel the need to cancel yourself with somebody. Just to double check if your action is okay or not. That also is counted as a moment of the of, of hesitation is to be a crucial to the to the succession of your actions. Okay. So the ten of swords uh, in this particular narrative, as the reading this displays, it does refer to a week that's uh, like said quite of a uh, determined or definitive, if you will, irreversible actions needs to be undertaken, and also irrevocable decisions needs to be uh, established as well so you can provoke a new era in your life now what people what are tend to seeing within the ten of swords are the uh, darkened sky and the dyed person here being stabbed by the ten of swords people what what people tend to ignore is the landscape which is the new dawn that's uh, kind of like sprinkles on the horizon and that is uh, exactly where are you striving towards with those actions and those decisions that you need to uh, that you need to undertake now having the four of swords into the uh, second position it does point that any lights at any moment of hesitation or an opting to slow down a little bit just to double check if you will uh, is going to more or less deprive you of of this drive or severely hurt the um how can i say the motion that you are to uh, that you are to move it forward into the future with either your career or with either your relationship. So 
the other one the other card that we do have it is the three it is the nine of pentacles i'm sorry into the third position of the spread and in that particular narrative the knights of uh, pentacles it is just a confirmation that you are on a verge of a huge leap into development in term of career or in term of relationship where your brave and definitive actions and decision making as well actually is going to produce a very good results for you results that will make you meet ends whatever meet ends for your situation would mean uh, either again a career wise or either again a uh, relationship wise because the nine of pentacles could indicate uh, i hate saying it but it could really indicate the one or the big fish that you may catch from the pool of social circles you are in okay it could indicate as well very proficient and quite lucrative job that you may uh, that you may get with or position into your job that you may get with those decisive actions and uh, decision making also so in generally <clears throat> The only thing that uh, pretty much can deprive you of having an amazing week moving forward is the fear that may rot your soul and uh, the lack of a determination, uh, determination as well. So uh, if you do have, how can I place it? If you do have any important stuff that you can undertake, but you are postponing those important stuff indefinitely for you are afraid to undertake them. You have to overcome the fear throughout this week and pretty much get right into it. And all that materialized at the end with the seven of uh, with the seven of cups and uh, pretty much what the seven of cups indicates for you. It is that unbelievable um, heights that you and under unbelievable uh, oh my god uh, under unbelievable heights i mean a heights that you never even contemplating that you will be able to reach now are within grasp you haven't reached them yet but they are uh, becoming out of uh, fantasies now or rather like they are changing from a fantasies now to become a seas growing and uh, another aspect of the seven of cups as well it is that you are pretty much going to uh, secure the deal for the most part in a sense of that uh, un unless you do something terribly wrong or, uh, along the way uh, mostly your errors are to be marked with just only disappointments that are to bounce you back allowing you to repeat the endeavor this time around in the right way around so again pretty uh, pretty proficient week for you um, Sagittarius hopefully you will have the determination the strength and lack of fear as well uh, that you may capitalize on it and with that being said guys this was your a weekly general tarot reading uh, hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we may see each other uh, around until then bye